Hi, gorgeous Aries. Welcome to your highest timeline reading. Wow. Um, it feels it feels sort of exciting and fun here, Aries. It's for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and the energy feels quite flowy, uh, quite exciting. It feels like you're starting like a new passion, or it's just like there's something that you want to do, like hug people. It's like you're either hugging people in real life, or like the work that you're doing, it feels like a hug when people come in contact with your work. Maybe you, I don't know, creating like a blog, like a, I don't know, a channel, a YouTube channel, or like writing a blog, or, or it's just, you know, when you're greeting people, there's something like that, Aries. It sort of feels like you're ready to dance or like when people when people you know connect with you it just it's sort of it just feels exciting let's draw your angel tarot for the week seven of abundance have patience sometimes dreams grow slowly don't worry the hard work that you've invested will bring about a bountiful harvest this is a good time to prepare because things will move forward quickly use this time to rest and plan and feeling that you know it feels like there's been a lot that you've been doing and so it's sort of like a time to rest and just um you know get ready for that gorgeous bountiful harvest that's coming your way aries let's draw the romance angel card for the week it says healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents lovely you know and that's for all of us but maybe there's this like energy that can be cleared or healed as soon as we send out forgiveness this can be sending out forgiveness to ancestors as well and um you know they really are there to support you and it, it really helps and brings in this beautiful divine inner peace it says to express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture let's draw from the goddess cards for the week aries Ostara, fertility. This is an exciting time. It says it's the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new condition. That's exactly it. This energy, Aries, of this, you know, this newness, this this change that's happened, or this healing of energy to bring in, you know, um, this this like endless opportunity and possibility it feels like you've got like a good idea and you're just sort of like going forward with it with this um you know inspired faith and let's draw an energy card here follow the moon this is about following your emotions following your intuition following that which you know your inner guidance you know, and I feel like this is following your joy as well. It feels like something that you're very connected to. Um, it's bringing in this change, but it's bringing in like new abundance, new love. Say yes. <laughs> I wanted one more, but you've got three more. It says stand up for yourself. So look at these solar plexus chakras. Not worth it. Three cards about the solar plexus and stay focused amazing so what have you been focusing on that's not worth it Aries you know what it how can you stand up for yourself and you know maybe it's sort of like picking your battles that sort of thing or like um you know saying yes to that which is in alignment um for your dreams your goals and passions and just sort of staying focused on that and letting the the rest just sort of you know glide away but nothing's like going to stop your flow and your groove yeah okay aries have a gorgeous week i look forward to your next love reading and your next highest timeline reading here on crystal communication stay safe and well my darlings and i shall see you soon ciao for now